So what does a wedding DJ do? Well, we know DJs by nature play music, so we can assume a wedding DJ does this as well. But a lot of things play music, like your iPhone. You can plug your iPhone into a stereo, and away you go. Press play, you can have all your songs lined up. So why hire the wedding DJ? Well, the wedding DJ does have a PA system and some flashy lights and a microphone. So it just stands to reason it's best to go ahead and just hire this DJ to, to bring these things along. But what we can do is we can just tell him everything we want to hear and he'll play it for us. Sometimes it's not that easy. Sometimes it is, sometimes it's not. Now, I've been doing this almost my entire life. And it's, it's what I've focused on my entire life. It's not hard for me to go into a room and program the evening with music. What I mean is reading the crowd. This is what wedding DJs typically do. They watch your audience, they see what they respond well to, they do listen to requests, and they try to keep your dance floor full. This is a balancing act. You can't just take any, I don't know, like 60 songs you can play maybe in a four hour time span and put them in any order and have it be a successful event. There are certain order the songs you need to go in. There are certain sets you need to build. There are certain what we call hills and valleys and sets that you need to create. Building it up, bringing it down, building it up, bringing it down. Different genres. At a wedding reception, you have people from 7 to 70. You've got to play to all of these people. You want to keep all of these people happy at one point or another in the evening. It's not difficult for me because this is my job. What is difficult is when a client has their own vision of the evening. And, you know, sometimes clients have fantastic visions. They really know their friends and family, and they give you a very thoughtful request list. Some people don't. Some people only think about themselves or themselves and their immediate peer group, who are usually their, their wedding party and their friends, and they leave out everyone else who happens to be attending this party. Grandparents, parents, cousins, aunts, uncles, and our job, actually, is to go in with these clients and help them realize what they've done, but also to incorporate their personality, their musical personality, into the evening and still make it a successful event. That might not sound like a lot, but believe me, it really is. It's a lot of coaching on our part, because as DJs, we do not want you to have a bad party. We want you to have a great party, and we do want you to have what you want. But what we also bring to the table, again, is some reality, is some experience. We know what works, and we know what doesn't work. Now, sometimes we don't know everything, and sometimes people surprise us with requests. Sometimes they say, well, you have to play this. Like, boy, I don't know how that's going to work. You throw it on, and boy, it works really well. But that's more the exception to the rule. We have a real good grasp on what works and what doesn't work to make a successful party. And that's part of our job. And that's just only one part of our job. And we're going to talk about another part of this job tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the next day until we're done, until we can't think of anything else. We're going to keep throwing things out there. So that's the video for tonight. Practice and enjoy.